Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to solve the exponential equation on the board. Now, to do this, the first thing I am going to do will be to rewrite these two in terms of 4. Of course, we know that 2 is equal to the square root of 4. That is 4 to the power half. So, on the right-hand side of this equation, we are going to have 4 to the power half to the power 3 multiplied by log to base 4 of x minus 1. And of course, you know that when we have two powers like this, all we have to do to get rid of the brackets is to multiply both of them. So here we have 4 to the power half times 3 is 3 over 2. So this is 3 over 2 multiplied by log to base 4 of x minus 1. Now, the next step to solving this equation will be to take log of both sides of this equation. And since the question is given in base 4, we are going to continue working in base 4. So, on the left-hand side, we have log to base 4 of x to the power log to base 4 of x minus 2 is equal to log to base 4 of 4 to the power 3 over 2 multiplied by log to base 4 of x minus 1. And of course, the next step we are going to take will be to apply the power rule. That is the rule of logarithm that says that when you have log a to the power b, that this is equal to b multiplied by log a. That is that we can bring down this exponent to the front of the log term to become a multiplier. So in this case, we bring down this to the front. When we do that, we have log to base 4 of x minus 2 multiplied by log to base 4 of x. That is this is equal to. Now here, look at this. We have log to base 4 of 4 to this power. Now remember that when we have log to base a of a to the power b, that this is simply equal to b. So here, log to base 4 of 4 to the power 3 over 2 multiplied by this is simply equal to this. So on the right hand side, we have 3 over 2 multiplied by log to base 4 of x minus 1. Now you can see that we have log to base 4 of x, log to base 4 of x, and log to base 4 of x. So to tidy up our presentation, let log to base 4 of x be equal to d. With this substitution, this equation is going to be d minus 2 multiplied by d is equal to 3 over 2 multiplied by d minus 1. Now, to get rid of this fraction, we multiply through this equation by 2. When we do that, we have 2 times d is 2d into d minus 2, and this is equal to 3 into d minus 1. Opening both brackets, we have 2d times d is 2d squared. 2d times minus 2 is minus 4d. And this is equal to 3 times d is 3d. And 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. Bringing all the terms over to the left-hand side, we have 2d squared minus 4d minus 3d plus 3 is equal to 0. From here, we have 2d squared minus 4d minus 3d is minus 7d plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, you can see that we have a quadratic equation in d which we can solve for values of d. So, from here, we have 2d squared minus 7d plus 3 is equal to 0. 
we can factorize this equation. The factors of 2d squared are d and 2d. And the factors of 3 are minus 3 and minus 1. Because of course, minus 3 times minus 1 is equal to plus 3. When we multiply these two, we have minus d. And when we multiply these two, that is 2d times minus 3, we have minus 6d. And minus 6d plus minus d is going to be minus 7d. So we have that we can factorize this quadratic equation as d minus 3 multiplied by 2d minus 1 is equal to 0. And of course, when we have a statement like this, it simply means that either d minus 3 is equal to 0 from where d is equal to 3 or 2d minus 1 is equal to 0 from where 2d is equal to 1 and d is equal to half. But then let us remember that log to base 4 of x is equal to d. So this simply means that either log to base 4 of x is equal to 3 or log to base 4 of x is equal to half. And also, you know that when we have a statement like this, it simply means that 4 to the power 3 is equal to x. That is, x is equal to 4 to the power 3. And here, 4 to the power half is equal to x. That is, x is equal to 4 to the power half. 4 to the power 3 is 4 times 4 times 4, which is equal to 64. And 4 to the power half is the square root of 4, of course, which is equal to 2. So we have that the two values of x that satisfy this exponential equation are 64 and 2. So now let us check whether these two values actually satisfy the equation. Now, when we substitute the first value of x, that is 64, into this exponential equation, we have 64 to the power log to base 4 of 64 minus 2 is equal to 2 to the power 3 times log to base 4 of 64 minus 1. Now, let us evaluate log to base 4 of 64. We have log to base 4 of 64. This is the same as log to base 4 of 4 to the power 3. And of course, you know that when we have log to base 4 of 4 to the power 3, this is simply equal to 3. So on the left-hand side, we have 64 to the power 3 minus 2 is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 minus 1. This is 64 to the power 3 minus 2 is 1. And here we have 2 to the power 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. We have 64 to the power 1 is equal to 2 to the power 6 is equal to 64. So 64 satisfies this exponential equation. When we substitute x equal to 2 into this exponential equation, we have 2 to the power log to base 4 of 2 minus 2 is equal to 2 to the power 3 times log to base 4 of 2 minus 1. Now let us evaluate log to base 4 of 2. We have log to base 4 of 4 to the power half because of course you know that 2 is equal to the square root of 4 which is 4 to the power half and of course this is simply equal to half so here we have 2 to the power half minus 2 is equal to 2 to the power 3 into half minus 1 half minus 2 is equal to minus 3 over 2. Here we have 2 to the power 3 
multiplied by half minus one is minus half. So this is minus half. And of course, this is equal to two to the power three times minus half is minus three over two. So once more, you can see that on the left hand side, we have two to the power minus three over two. And on the right hand side, we have two to the power minus three over two. So x equal to two also satisfies this exponential equation. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.